Hi there. Today's video we're going to be talking about the five things, five components you need in order to be successful in farming. And these I've learned from my own experiences and also from watching videos online. So before we dive right in, if you haven't been following this channel and you're interested in the content, more content like this, just hit the subscribe button and get to learn more from what I'm learning and from my videos and from my experience as I record and publish videos. So the five things you need in order to be successful in farming. The first thing you need, and this is probably the most important and most crucial component, is patience. That is internal. You need patience, your own patience. This is because agriculture takes time. You put money in today, you don't expect to see a return tomorrow. You might not even see a return requires patience it requires that ability to wait you see a plant germinating it goes from seed to germination to flowering to producing a fruit and all the way up until harvesting and that's all patience at a certain point you think you're done you see the fruit on the plant boom they start rotting there animals come and eat them people come and steal them so long as you're not patient, you're going to give up. So you need to be patient. I'll repeat that word as many times as I can. Patient, patience, patience. Let's do this patiently, okay? The second thing you need, and this is equally as important, is capital. If you do not have the cash or access to cash in, on regular intervals, then farming is not for you. Don't listen to that person telling you farming is cheap, farming is easy. It's not easy and it's not cheap. Something as simple as beans or maize requires a lot of capital input, chemicals, spray canisters. Uh, you need labor to help you with the weeding. You need labor to help you with the spraying. You need seeds, you need fertilizer. And so if you don't have chemicals, or capital you're just going to suffer losses okay uh, last time we did maize uh, there was an issue with army worm so we had to spray the chemical to kill army worm the first chemical we tried didn't help the army worm was too prevalent so we had to spray again and if you don't have the capital to keep spraying you are definitely running losses. Sorry, pig scared me there. Don't know why it's making that sound, but yeah. So that's number two, capital. You need cash. If you say you're doing animals, and we do animals too. Medicine, feeds, uh, paying the, the, the labor that's going to take care of the animals. You can't say I'm doing a full project when you, you're not spraying the goats or the cows or the sheep for ticks you're not doing a project if you're leaving the animals to roam around in town you have to have capital in order to take care of your project then let's move on to number three the third thing that you need out of all other things you need is land now this is very important understand this some projects can be done on a small piece of land but most projects require large chunks of land especially animals they need space to roam and to feed from if you do not have land you cannot produce the quantity you want in order for you to be profitable for example if you have one acre and on that one acre you planted beans Somebody else has 10 acres and they plant beans. The costs might be different, but the one with the 10 acres will make a lot more profit at the end of the day because there are some costs that remain the same. For example, labor weeding will charge you uh, on a per acre basis. Okay, uh, so 
if you have 10 acres, you're making profit off of 10 acres. And if you only have one acre, you're making profit off of one acre. If you have 10 cows, you can't put them on an acre. They need more space for grazing. I, I hope this makes sense. You need space. So as much as you can invest in expanding your space, you can start small, but make sure you focus on growing. That is number three, land. So let's recap since we're on the halfway mark. We started with patience. We start. We went on to capital and then we moved on to land. Now the next thing you need is knowledge. Okay. It might not be your personal knowledge, but you do need some basic understanding. You might not be a PhD graduate in agriculture or animal science or whatever. But you need a basic understanding of the projects you're doing for one simple reason. You need to know that, okay, if I planted on an acre, I should expect a yield of X, Y, Z. In order for that yield to come out, I need to apply X, Y, Z chemicals, fertilizers at these intervals. If you don't have that basic understanding, you are going to run losses. People will take advantage of you and steal from you and you just won't be successful. So basic knowledge in agriculture. The more advanced knowledge can be bought, okay? If you have capital, we go back to number two, capital. If you have capital, you are able to hire people with the knowledge you need to advise you, to guide you, to do the work for you. But so long as you don't have the basic knowledge, you're in trouble. Farming is just that kind of business. Then let's move on to the last, and that's labor. With agriculture, especially in Africa and the way we do things, we're not so automated at the moment. You need labor. I mean, in every business, you need people to work for you. And that labor has to be good and professional if you don't have good labor trustworthy labor professional labor you're in trouble you're going to run losses you plant beans in the garden and the worker who come and harvest beans for eating at home every single day every day and by the time you harvest the dried beans for your business for selling you have lost half of the garden to the, the worker who's been eating or selling them on the side to cover their own expenses. So make sure you've got a trustworthy worker. We once had an issue with a guy uh, who worked for us. He was supervising our plot. We sent him money to buy additional seeds because the seeds we had on site had run out sent him money for the best most expensive seeds and he went to the neighbor and asked them to give him the maize they had from last season and he planted that instead of the expensive maize and he took the money and he spent it and he never used to pay employees on time his, his own friends that worked for him were with him so if you don't have good labor you're running losses i also have an issue I had an issue where the people who were weeding our garden were busy telling the, their friends that no, we're doing the weeding, but this is our garden, we, we leased it. And then prior to harvesting, they started selling off some of the, the beans. So if you don't have trustworthy people doing the work for you, you're in trouble. Just give up on your head. Go and find people who are trustworthy. The advice here is go somewhere far. Go find people from different villages if you have to, different states, different districts, cities. Bring them to work for you. Don't, don't get sentimental on hiring the locals. They'll take advantage of you, usually. Usually. They are always good people and they are always bad eggs. So let me not generalize. I hope this has been helpful and that it will guide you if you're still making a decision on whether to become a farmer. So if you want to recap one last time, let's do recap this. Number one, patience. 
Number two, capital. Number three, land. Number four, knowledge. Number five, labor. Those are the five key components you need in order to be successful in agriculture. Cheers.